It's that time of year, family. Got to go out and shovel the snow. We just got our first serious snowfall out here. Let's go check it out. It's beautiful out here. It's not that cold, but we got a lot of snow out here though. So, one of the things you want to try to do is shovel snow as soon as it stops snowing so that the snow be nice and soft and light and fluffy. That way, it's not gonna freeze up, be real hard and heavy. Let me get to work. Trees is covered, even the windmills. <laughs> Lights. How much snow in here? It's, it's like eight inches on here. garden is completely filled up. We pulled all the flowers up. Those mums is completely covered, frozen. Let's just leave them there. The good thing is we got a car cover, which is a blessing because now instead of having to clean the car, I just got to brush the snow off the cover, which makes it a little bit easier. The, the snow is heavy. Messenger was asked by Master Muhammad, what makes rain, hell, snow, and earthquakes? There's a whole science to this snow. And how it's made and how no two snowflakes are alike. Mathematics, which is a song. One thing you don't want to do is confuse your mental abilities with your physical abilities. I'm 60 years old. I can mentally knock this out in straight one little loop. However, my common sense tells me you want to pace yourself. So take like a 10 minute break, get you something to drink, relax for a second, get your breath, make sure you don't have a heart attack out here shoving all the snow. Finally finished. Just put some salt down. Make sure, wife, you don't slip out here. Now I gotta go through this deck. Then take a shower and take a nap. Now I'm great to go outside and do this deck. The reason you wanna get that snow off the deck, that, that snow when it start melting, it gets real heavy and it can literally collapse a deck. So if practical, you wanna try to get at least some of that snow off. Know what I mean, so I'm gonna go out there and show that deck real quick. On February 20th, 1934, Asfar Muhammad examined Messenger Elijah Muhammad with Lost Found Muslim Lesson Number Two, Section Eight. He asked him, "What makes rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes?" The Messenger Elijah Muhammad answered, "The earth is approximately covered under water, approximately three fourths of the surface." The sun and moon has attracting powers on our earth. While planets make the terrific speed of 1,037 one third miles on its way around the sun, the sun draws this water up into the earth's rotation, which is called gravitation, and a fine mist that the naked eye can hardly detect. But as this mist ascends high and increases with other mists of water and different currents of the atmosphere, until when she becomes heavier than gravity, then she distills back to the earth in the form of drops of water or drops of ice, which depends on how heavy the mist was and the current of the air was in. There are some layers or currents of air real cold and warm and some very swift and changeable. So when the water strikes some of these cold currents, it becomes solid snow. 
but this water is not ever drawn above six miles from the Earth's surface by the sun and moon. The reason it rains back on our planet is because it cannot get out of the Earth's sphere. With its high speed of rotation around the sun makes it impossible. Earthquakes are caused by the Son of Man experimenting on high explosives. In fact, all of the above is caused by the Son of Man. There is no mystery, God, family. Thank you, Lord. Everything frozen around here. <laughs> okay, let me get to work. To those of you that are hunters, you can see the tracks. And you can tell from the tracks what's rabbits, what's deer, what's bears, what's birds, what have you. Certain creatures, like my little buddy I call Fatty, the groundhog, they hibernate for the winter. But the squirrels be running around and now that the snow here, they're able to chill out and mess up inside those trees up there. I always throw them some food and everything. So I feed the birds and the little creatures, the cauliflower, carrots, potatoes, radish, whatever. So they eat pretty good. You gotta share. You gotta do charitable work all the time, not just with other human beings, but every creature that creep upon the face of the planet Earth. That includes like ants and little tiny flies. They all gotta eat. I mean, everybody gotta eat, babe. Everybody gotta get this money. Finish.